G Money. Yo. What's up, man? What's up? You back at it? What's <laughs> going? It what's again. going on, man? I feel good. How you doing? Feeling great. Feel marvelous. I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you press? What you, what you see? Can you press my uh my favorite joint right now? Japan. Facts. <laughs> that reminds me of Street Fighter. You know yeah. I mean? It's from there. Yeah. That's again. Japan. <laughs> that, that's for the little planes to fly. <laughs> a little, little map and all that come from one side of the joint to the other joint. We had a good interview last time. Um, yes. Started off a little crazy, but the people are are receptive to the clip that we put out. Yeah, man. It's how, good. Do you, how did you feel about the interview? I felt like, you know, the interview was going to stop before it started. But, uh, you know, some people that I know, you know, came a long way and changed their ways and, you know... <laughs> <laughs> why you be saying that, bro? Like you know that that that. that. I can't give you credit. Nah, you came a long way, my brother. Nah, that's you know. You don't want no credit? I know more, man. I, I used to I used to thrive because credit is you know overrated. But uh, yeah, okay, sure. Credit Mister, goes. I got a billion views. I got billion <laughs> subscribers. Yeah, 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 now you yeah, don't want yeah, no credit yeah, now. Yeah, Get out of here, man. I talk that shit, people that talk. Shit, I don't believe. <laughs> yeah. Let they nuts hang. Pause. Mm. You know what I'm saying, but you know. But now nah, I'm, I'm excited. I'm ready. We got we got the event coming up. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. I'm excited about that. Did you get the? Did you uh, secure the DJ? I might, I might have to just. It might have to be me and you once again, man. Just... Yeah, I'm definitely DJing. Oh, you are? Yeah, that's okay. Yeah, my guys are busy, man. So oh, I, got, I got to step in. Yeah, yeah. Come on, you gonna enjoy yourself, G? Stop playing, man. I enjoy myself when I'm playing music, man. You know nah, what I'm saying? Ah, you gotta sit down. <laughs> nah, I'll do that, man. For real, G. I put a mix on. I will come sit down with y'all and have some. Have some. If you gonna sit down, violating. I'm, I'm throwing. Shit. The floor, I'm violating. <laughs> I'm kicking the ball over the gate. Oh my no party, god! No party, no nothing. But no, definitely it's something. You know, just to show appreciation, man. Yeah. You know, by the time, by it's the time this come out, it's gonna be good. The people understand that Friday, you know, the 17th is important because. And before I get to the interview, I just want to say that a lot of times, what I learned as far as like uh, reflecting, and accountability, a lot of the times we, because of my character. I glorified a lot of negativity. Like if somebody would talk crazy online, I want to meet up and, and I want to talk and I want to give that light instead of the people that was here putting the work in. Mm. Instead of the people that was here helping this platform move forward. Mm -hmm. And you had to really look forward and look back and like I was giving credence and giving light to people that didn't need the light. You know what I mean? So now, you know, new situation, new bag and stuff like that. <laughs> Definitely. Oh, I ain't no. trying to make mess that up. Yeah, yeah. Somebody, somebody's acting like so there's a troll page. A troll page? There's a troll page on Instagram. Really? That's going in the comments saying that Flip the Script got a deal with a certain platform mm. and said, G Money told me. They in all the chats. Really? I blocked them yesterday. Okay. But I said, G Money, I, I, I don't. I mean, I told a, I told a few close people. Not, yeah, not, but I, I don't. That's a, a that's a fake account. Somebody. That's somebody made. else. Yeah, so that's, that's gotta be nah. Because other people who ask me, I'm like, yo, you guys will see soon. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, of course you can tell close people. I mean, you know. Yeah, you, got, you know what I'm saying? But other than that, yeah, I didn't broadcast it yet, so. It's probably, it's probably my, Mighty Two Time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, ready, I'm, ready, I'm ready to fire her already. What? I'm ready to fire her now. She, I think it's her. I think she's fine. I'm joking. She good. Nah, but let's get, you know, I'm excited, man. Let's get to it. Sh shout, shout out to the homie Bosco 100, though, for, for the ugly, you know what I'm saying? During a long time ago, he, he let me rock out with this one. I got to show him some love, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to the West Coast. I'm just saying, man. Shout out to the homies. Who are you giving these love, bro? I mean, shout out to the homies, man. Don't do that. I'm playing that. I ain't going to play that. I ain't going to yeah, play that. I'm just Bosco here. <laughs> shout out to Bosco. But come on, G. Also, shout out to the team, man. Picky Eater is definitely coming back. You know, we we, we, we filming this week. You got something planned this week. It's going to be pretty dope. So, I, I got for that. So, uh, you're not doing the uh, the Thursday? Not this week, Thursday. The Thursday, next week, Thursday? You're not doing it anymore? Yeah, yeah. But we're going to, you know. We gonna we, we gonna film episode one. I think we ready to go. Okay. Well. We got we got an idea. We got a plan. So we gonna film episode one. We still gonna do the recap, but you'll get like a little teaser during the recap. You are gonna see what we got planned. You know what I'm saying we got something nice in store for y'all. So y'all just stay tuned for that, man. G money. Yo. <laughs> episode one six one. We made it. We got a special guest. Yeah. Um, came in here with respect. You know. <laughs> Shout out to my man. Um, Came in here with a bottle too, man. Let's, let's not forget that. You, uh, you know said that. You said that. Nice, you, said that. you know. That uh, was... Brooklyn mm -hmm. is in the building. Um, what else? What else? Now, is it okay if we put? Because I saw on the, you know watch documentary, beautiful documentary. I like Thank it. You. Um, you know, uh, <laughs> they go say yes. <laughs> is, it, is it okay if we say little, little or like we call you Junior? Like, how do we do it? 
Yeah. I'm fine with, you know what I'm saying, little, regular dementia, however you want to put it. You know what I'm saying? Whatever's comfortable for you. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm cool. You can't say regular because the OG was regular. You got to, come on, don't throw up your bounds. The OG was regular, some peace. <laughs> OG wasn't regular. Mm. Mm. Let's no. go. Dementia on the bill, a round of applause, man. <laughs> What's up, man? How you doing, man? What up, Flip? How you doing, man? Good to see you again, brother. Th thank you, thank you, brother, man. Love, thank you, love, thank you, love. thank you. I appreciate Salute. you coming up here. Mm -hmm. well, first and foremost, I want to shout out to to Steel. Oh, I don't want to say the name. You know, it's her. <laughs> don't, don't say, don't say the first uh -huh. name. He's though. not a Catholic. <laughs> I can say that. But shout out to Steel, Steel, Steel. Shout out to Mano. Um, these guys were adamant about making it happen. And um, you know, shout out to Steel, shout out to Mano, and and, and right. these guys uh, uh, put the good word in. I met you before, like I said, you know, major hype. But also, you know, I got to shout Streets out because Streets was also putting the bug in my ear. So I just want to just pay respect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Salute, man. Shout out to my big brother, Mano. Shout out to Steel. Shout out to my cousin, Major Hype. And shout out to my cousin, Streets, as well. You know what I'm saying? Appreciate you. He introduced the smoke because he got me tight with that with that with that furry hat on walking smoke like that. Yeah, out the chill, under, chill on, under, man. Under this the, this 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 big bro right here as well. You know, this is uh Frank Nitty. And uh, he was a, a close friend of my father, man. I mean, you know, um, so he's in the building. I bought him. He's all in the documentary. So I bought him along with me today. Frank Nitty, how you doing, man? I'm good. You good? Yeah. Well, you trying to be smooth? All, nice. all in the video. That's natural. That's, 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 that's natural, though. Yeah, the fur all around. Natural? Yeah, that's natural. Yeah, the that's MCM so. hat, MCM yeah. the yeah. shirt to match. Yeah, yeah that's natural. <laughs> Seen that, seen that, seen that in the video. I just saw it. It just sounded like money yeah. when I see them on the screen. Just, yeah. You know what I'm saying? She, why you hype me like that? You, 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 like, you know you like that. I can smell them when money, you know what I'm saying? You know you like that. Mile that. away. You know you like that. When somebody says natural, you know you like that, right? Of course, of yeah. course. Yeah. 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 But welcome, man. I appreciate yeah. it, man. Yeah. No yeah. It's love. So, you know, let's just take things slow. Um, We just watched a documentary. Can you tell the people the name of the documentary and when is it coming out first? Okay. So, the Dimensio Montana story, and it uh it drops on Vimeo on July 16th. Vimeo on demand, um, that's where everybody can uh can see it. July 16th. That's this Thursday coming up. This Thursday, 2020. I like it. I actually like it. I like how it was put together. Okay. I like you know um you said you're gonna do some tweaking, of course. I yeah, yeah, talk about yeah, that. You yeah. know, off camera, but mm -hmm. I think overall it's put together well. Thank I you, think brother. It's put together well. If it, if you did it yourself or Whoever did it, man, um, I think it's put together well. I think you should get into doing uh, other documentaries. Yeah, I did this myself. I started out years ago just just trying to tell a story, you know, just 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 feeling that, you know, just feeling feeling like I needed closure, feeling like, you know, I kind of needed his story to be told, you know, because I know I wasn't alone. So I actually did this myself. I executive produced it, mm. you know. Um, I went and found one of the dopest editors on the West Coast and, you know, I flew out there and, and I had him edit. I sat with him several several times and and um, we went in the editing room and put it together. Yeah. Well, take us to the like what what happened to make you want to do this documentary? Like, made you want to do it? Like, what transpired? Like, take us to that day that you were home or whatever you were at in the car. You was you know whatever you were doing. You was like, yo, now nah, it's time to get this started. Like, what what happened? Well, you know, growing up, I always used to hear you know hear stories about my pops, and you know, um, I would always hear stories about you know, the type of person he was and, and, and um, me being eight years old, you know, I, I, I knew the relationship I had with him. And um, I just felt like, man, like growing up, once he passed away, I seen the difference in the, in the change in my family and the dynamics in, inside the family and the people surrounded by him. I seen how we were all affected, you know, for negative or positive, I seen the change it made. And then just growing up in 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 the, in the city, you know, Flatbush, Brooklyn, Bed Stuy, Canarsie, you know, um, I felt like, I, well, not not that I felt like, but you know, I would interact with a bunch of people that were just like me. You know what I'm saying? Was fatherless, you know, although I had male, you know, role models and and father figures in my life, but just just not having your biological father there, and him having a legacy, it just always, you know. It just always was was something in me that said that I need to tell his story. You know what I'm saying? So whether Pops was, you know, legendary in Brooklyn or not, I wanted to tell his story. You know what I'm saying? And I wanted to open the 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 the, the gates for other children, male, female, to tell their parents' story, whether it's their mother or father. 
that they lost through gun violence or, you know what I'm saying, through the mm -hmm. streets. You know, I wanted to create that 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 lane to let them know, look, it's all right to tell your story and tell how it was, or just shed light on what type of person your your you know you know your 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 parent was. You know what I'm saying? Right. Yeah. Real quick, what, what, what's, what's up with everybody coming here recording, man? Like, what's this new thing? Like, what's this? you're not live, right? You're not live, right? You just recording something? What's up? Talking to you? I'm talking to you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what's up, man? Is that, is, that, is that for your personal files, bro? I mean, yeah. you know, sometimes, you, you know, we, we the rules, are, we got rules, no touching, no gums, no phones, but I don't know, lately, y'all just be coming here recording, bro. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's for the personal archives, man. Okay. That right, yeah, man. we don't do too much recording and all of that, so I mean, that's, I, that's you, personal you, archives. I just don't understand what be going on. I don't understand the recording thing, bro. <laughs> it's, it's a thing, but it's all good. I mean, as long as, you know, what, what, what we yeah. ask is that... Anything that's being recorded is not put out before we put, you know, what we put oh, out. Right. Oh, no, no, no. Never that, yeah. man. I don't go live. I don't let people, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. So you ain't got to worry about nah, that. That's, yeah, just, bro, yeah. Bro, bro, bro don't even like being on camera. Just you know what I'm saying? He, he real low key. Shout but, out, shout but, out. Yeah, yeah. He, he was cool. He was quiet. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah my bro. Yeah, yeah. 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 Nah, we ain't putting nothing out. Nah, I appreciate yeah. that. Um, So let's take our time. So, you know, you was born as a twin. One half of a twin. Yes, I was. And... What happened to your brother? You see, because in the documentary, so he passed. But until the, I think the end. Yeah. No, I actually, 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 yeah, yeah, actually yeah, what yeah, happened yeah, to him? Yeah, yeah. He didn't and mention it. In the documentary. He didn't mention it at all. No. I think you said that yeah. your mom said to you, your father's with your brother. So tell yeah. us. Like, what yeah. So I was I was born a twin. My twin, um, you know, Demencio and Damon. I'm, I, me being Demencio, Damon was my twin. He died at um at at uh, a few months old. Uh, he died of uh, SIDS. Which is now, which is now, uh, crib deaf. Yeah. You know, um, or crib deaf rather, and now it's classified as SIDS. Yeah. So he died in his sleep. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? I yeah. don't think they they still don't know what causes that. Yeah. You you pretty much just 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 loss of breath. You know what I'm saying? Loss of breath. You know. So he died at a young age. Yeah. Without... Suffocation. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And do, do you remember your little brother? Do you remember your twin at all? Do you have any? Nah, I was, I was, you know what I'm saying, six, yeah. six, seven months. I don't remember my twin at all, but I know he with me. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You know, that's how, you know, I know he with me every day. Oh, God. You know what I'm saying? This guy, I'm well, trying to be more. I, I like that because you're talking about, yeah. I'm trying to be smooth, man. <laughs> <laughs> Everything is smooth with you, man. That's my guy. <laughs> yeah, that's my Yo, guy. Real, real quick, um, You know, making a documentary must be hard, especially, you know, what's going on. You know what I'm saying? And was there any time, and I want to ask this before I get into, you know, uh, speaking to Frank. Was, it, was there any time that you broke down at all? Because, I mean, you're small. You don't like you cry too much, but you probably do. Was, <laughs> was there any time like you, like you was doing something you was like, you know, like honestly, that you broke down, that your tears came up, and because I'm watching you walk in the park, yeah. I'm like, man, I, he, if he busts out here, man, I, he's gonna touch me, man. Yeah, Oscar, yeah, 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 but, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Any time yeah, that, yeah. You no, know, hold your side first. Any time that you yeah. broke down and cried, or thinking about it, while doing this documentary, or like, are we past crying at this age? Oh no, nah, we not past crying. And in, in fact, it's been plenty of times. It's crazy you said that, but I actually did break down in the park. It, it's been shooting this whole. It, you know, I started five years ago. I broke down several times, you know, just hearing stories that, you know, I, I had my own relationship with Pop Dukes, you know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? So hearing stories about him that I've never heard, you know what I'm saying? And just being in that moment in time with him, you know, filming this, I did break down several times, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I, ain't, I, ain't, I ain't too man to, to say that. I did break down several times, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Filming this, you know what I'm saying? Even like you've seen in the, in the film, I, I walked to Kennedy Park you know, where he was murdered at, and I'm on the same basketball court, so, you know, I kind of went back in time, and, you know, when, you, when, you, when you're filming and you're interviewing and you're hearing how it went down and you're hearing, you know what I'm saying, the, the situation, it, it, you know, yeah, it, it'll get to you. So it did, to answer your question. When did he pass away? Uh, he died July 16th, 1991. He was uh, 27. Oh, wow. Yeah, okay. he was 27 mm -hmm. years old. Real quick, bring us, bring us. Stop trying to be. Bring us to 
because obviously, you know, um, you knew his father, you know, as an adult, you know, yeah, for a long time. Bring us to how you met him. How I met him? And, 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 yeah, bring us to how you met him. And hanging in the projects. What projects? Albany. Okay. Like, we used to gamble and stuff like that, go to the clubs, and then I was real trustworthy. So when they got this spot on Bergen, they put me down. They said, we want you to run this spot, and you got to be on time, got to have the workers on time, payroll right, and I had everything right. To one, to one night, I got tired of them going out, leaving me behind <laughs> to run things. I just closed the spot down on a Friday night. They was tight. So it's like, yo, you fired them all. I said, all right, y'all going to be begging me to come back because ain't nobody was running it like me. Mm-hmm. Sure enough, they told me don't come back. <laughs> they was blowing up my phone the next morning. I said, nah, I quit. So I quit. And then me and Lou started doing our thing. Mm. Yeah. So they oh, did. Yeah, sorry, did you hear but when you went, when when you went home and met though, how'd you guys build a relationship for him to trust you to even put you in that position? You know what I'm saying? Like me and Demencio, we always had a relationship, cause we all hung together. Like mm-hmm. we just hung together. It was me, Lou Hobbs, Aaron, Rambo, Great God. We just we was the click in the projects. Right. You know how you had your regular dudes in the projects. Got your little flashy crew over here. Mm-hmm. We was the flashy crew. Mm. I see you from the documentary. I see you got, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, <laughs> was, we, was all, we all used to be flashy, but that came from Monk. One of, our clo- one of his closest friends to his father. Mm. He was named Monk. And um, he just, he was ahead of his time. He was like a flashy dresser. He was young. We admired that type of shit. Mm. So, we hung with the fly guys, the older guys, the OGs. Mm-hmm. What is one of your memories about Dementio that sticks out in your mind right now? Something that you remember? Oh, we was in a club, Latin Quarters. And I had met a girl that he was kicking it with. But she didn't want to give him no rhythm that night. So he mad at her. He saw her writing the number down. So um, he's like, yo, what you doing? She said, I'm giving him my number. He said, oh, you like f***ing with the help? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> that stand out. Or? <laughs> yeah, and I, I, I eventually got with her and everything. You took yeah. it down and everything. Took it down. <laughs> <laughs> it either my crew... We were some handsome fly guys. So they was going to pick one out the crew anyway. Mm-hmm. So, you know. Either was the, it was Demencio a lot. Mm-hmm. Right? Lou, girls liked him for the money. But Lou was like a, a classy dude, knew how to treat women. You know, he was more like, uh, he taking girls to dinner. Mm-hmm. He buying them stuff, you know. The men said I had to do all of that. He had to do that. Nah, he had to do that. I mean, you look he's Asian. a ladies man. <laughs> yeah, he's a ladies man. I so was I. So now you want to throw yourself in there? <laughs> yeah, it's the truth though. It's the truth. <laughs> it's the truth. So, so, so he. So you met him. You met him in the projects, and but he, he. And the spot that you worked for worked at was his spot. It was him and Pop. Pop spot, okay. Yeah. And I saw that in the documentary. Pop, Pop put a lot of people down with it. Okay. But, but Dementia and Pop had a tighter relationship than everybody. Got you. Yeah. Pop passed away. He died in a tragic car accident. And he killed his whole family. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, from a yeah. family reunion. Yeah, he was coming back from family reunion and. And, and crashed. He was the car. Put, put, put my to yeah, he crashed. He crashed. Mm-hmm. He he um crashed his vehicle coming back from a family reunion. Killed his whole Fell family. Asleep. And that was my pops' right hand man. That was the one who, you know. What what do you what do you remember about your father? 
I just remember my pops just being just being like loved and 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 just just spoiling me and just you know what I mean. Like I remember just him just always taking me and, and buying me things and just you know just being around. Like he would take me uptown with him and they used to be car washes, like people washing cars outside on the street and. You know, I just remember him like having people come to the house and, and, and he'll be getting dressed, they'll be waiting in the living room and you know, like celebrities, you know what I'm saying? Like, um I, I remember those those times with him, you know what I mean? So in a summary, tell us tell give us his story of what you know. Like he, because we watch the documentary, but give us we don't want to take away from the documentary. Cool. You know what I'm saying? I'm not doing that. I really do, but I don't want to. Do what um, you do, what you do, man. I'm, man, I'm, you know what I'm saying. I definitely, no, I definitely, you know, because I ask you all these questions that I and just it's cool. I just watch the documentaries, but yeah. now I know mad stuff. Yeah, to and ask it's you, cool. You know, that, yeah, you know and that. it's cool. So and it's, it's cool. Like a cheat code. And it's cool. But like, t- tell us, like, you know, about, like, you know, about his parents. Yeah. Which, which is your grandparents? Yeah. And uh, like, I know I, I did see that he had a stepfather as well. Yeah, correct. T- t- tell us about his childhood. What you know about his childhood? Yeah. Where he was born? You said what? Yeah, and stuff like that. Yeah. So, so what I know about my um my my dad's uh, childhood, he was he was born in uh, Crown Heights, you know, Weeksville, mm-hmm. and um, you know his his biological dad had passed, and uh, my grandmother's husband um, raised raised him, and um, you know my pops was my pops was, I guess he looked a little. Oh shit! Oh man! Oh man! <laughs> Maybe I'm saying something I shouldn't. Man, hold on, hold on, man. Who, who this right here, man? Yeah. All right, so look. How <laughs> was that? Pop, yeah, Pop yeah, right. Showed up, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's yeah. crazy, Pop Duke. So yo, chill out, Pop nigga. Showed up. Chill out. Don't give him all that. Hold yeah, on. Yeah, hold yeah. on. What you, what you mean? Ask whatever question. Nah. <laughs> Sorry about that. Bro. Yeah, nah, nah. It's all good, man. It's all good, man. So first time I've ever. Yeah, yeah. I don't know what's going on. With Let's that get shit. this out of here, man. <laughs> yeah. Shout out ODB one time, man. Yeah, shout out ODB. <laughs> Um, so what I know about, what I know about Pops is he was, um, he was, uh, he was born in Crown Heights, Brooklyn, you know what I'm saying, in Weeksville, and, um, you know, his biological dad had passed away, and he was raised by his stepfather, Mm -hmm. and, um, he was bullied as a kid coming up, just because, you know, he, you know, he, you know, he was kind of, I guess, recognized as a pretty boy, so, you know, he wasn't, he, he didn't have that, that, um, he didn't have that type of energy that that was that was that was around at them times, and uh, you know his stepfather uh, um, didn't you know kind of just didn't didn't take no shit and, uh, and and taught him not to take no shit. so it came a point where he 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 wasn't with it no more, and he adapted you know what I'm saying and um, to his surroundings you know what I'm saying and uh, he became you know he became dementio that 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 wasn't putting up with no shit. You know what I'm saying, but he was a loving person, a loving father, cared about his family, wanted to keep his family away from that, wanted better for his family. You know what I'm saying, and um, and had a good heart. You know what I'm saying, and 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 like you seen in the documentary, to know him was to love him. You know what I'm saying, mm-hmm. and um, that was one of the other reasons why I wanted to, you know, shoot this because it was like. You know, just seeing, reading comments on the web and, and, and people always seeing him in pictures and just saying, yo, that Demencio dude, like, we don't know much about him. You know, this, that, and the third old Demencio. And then what was put out there in the magazines through, you know, you know, through the people that kind of had something to do with his demise, it was like, it was a, it was a, it was a brush off. It wasn't like what it really was. You know what I'm saying? So I wanted to tap into that as well, you know, just to let the people that, you know, uh, uh, seeing Pops in a certain way. I wanted them to know, you know, what really happened as well. You know what I'm saying? Uh, From our side. So, Grand Pops, which is is his step Pops, right? Mm -hmm. Uh, His last name was Benson, yes? Correct. And, and, And they said in a documentary that he, if you mess with dementia, you had to mess with Miss Benson, I guess he was coming out and, and yeah, and correct, ass. correct. And then uh, I guess your pops didn't like that anymore. You know, he, yeah. He, he, so he, he decided to fend for himself. Yes, he yeah. decided to fend for himself. And did he have any siblings? Yeah. So um, my father had five brothers. Him being the oldest. Okay. 
you know, one one drowned, one drowned, rah rah, he drowned, he 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 tragically died in the drowning, and um, you know, he had four more brothers, you know, after that. Okay. Yeah, which are my uncles. And how did he meet your mom? Do you know that story? He met my mother. My mother's from Flatbush. He was from Crown Heights, Best Star. My mother was like one of the, one of the wild, you know, not not necessarily just wild Flatbush chicks. She was she was she was the, you know, she was uh, she was known in Flatbush. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, just for just for representing, you know, um, she was you know she was she she caught his eye and and uh, she's catching everybody. Yeah, eye. she was catching everybody. <laughs> yo, eye. yo 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 yo. Hold on, hold on, man. Come on, man. Everybody. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. First of all, we gonna put. What do you mean she was wild? Like fighting and stuff. Like, fighting. Was... Yeah, she was. A, she was. You know, because she was also. You know, she looked Spanish, but you know, you know, grew up in a black household. So I guess at at them times, from what I'm gathering, it was like a lot of like light skin, like dark skin thing. Like you know, what I mean? if you was light skin, you was you was sweet, you was soft or something. Mm. You know, so her her looking Hispanic and her being light skin, you know, in the hood, it was she had to. You know, she had to. She had to fight her battles. So. When I say wild, I'm talking about in that aspect, like where she just she she was a fighter, you know what I'm saying? And so both of them kind of fighting the same battles, and they both abso- kind of absolutely they both outside. Absolutely. People thinking they feel like they could probably can see that they probably think they feeling themselves, and absolutely. Like they, they try to test them. Absolutely. Got it. Yeah. Got it. Where is your mom? Where's my mom? Mm-hmm. She's still she's in uh she's in she's still in Brooklyn. You know what I'm okay. saying? She, yeah, yeah. Her and, and is she still crazy? Nah, she calmed down, okay. you know. She's still pretty, though. Yeah, yeah, yo. yeah. Yo. Yeah, yo. <laughs> I went to school with her. She's bad. All right, all right, man. What's up she with you? Making noise. I saw, I saw the documentary. What? <laughs> what? Yeah. What's wrong with you, man? <laughs> he ain't going to say he don't. He's just chilling. He not even I mean, I guess it's some... Cause I, it's, 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 yeah, yeah, I'm used to it, man. You yeah, know what I'm saying? It's flattering, I guess. Yeah, I don't know, man. Yeah, yeah. But I like that. That analogy was basically fighting the same battle. Yeah. Correct. I mean, you know, just being light skinned and you know, I mean, in the hood, you know, I guess when you hear these stories, you hear that a lot of people went through a lot of issues and stuff like that. You know, I had some mean? of the same issues growing up. You know, what I'm saying? yeah, yeah, light, light skin type. Yeah, I think we all could relate to it. I mean, and then especially back then, you know, what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah, the we, brothers we... wasn't in back then. The dark skin brothers, <laughs> all light skin all the time. Okay. You know what I'm saying? They got the most raps. <laughs> <laughs> so so he so he, he he meets your mom, you know, um now he has a family. Do you know when he got into the game? Yeah, so so from what I understand, you know what I'm saying, um he got in the game through P.O. Pop, you know, who should we explain him and P.O. Pop. Cool. Kinda P.O. Pop took a liking to him. He kinda ran the the, the projects, Albany projects in Brooklyn. And uh, you know he took a liking to Pop Dukes, and he kind of, he kind of just, 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 just gave Pops the, you know what I'm saying, like you know, the the, the I wouldn't say battery, but he he kind of just gave Pops and the, the courage. Blueprint. He gave him the blueprint and the courage to just like yo look man, you know what I'm saying, and Pops just ran with it, you know what I'm saying, and he you know because there'll be instances where he'll walk through the store and 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 cats will try to get him for his jacket, you know what I'm saying, for his coat, you know what I'm saying. And um, you know that that once he got with Pop and this that and the third, he that was that was that was a rap. You know what so I'm saying? So Pop was, was official. Pop Peel Pop was official. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so so nobody messed with him. Nah, you know? nobody messed okay. with him. Okay, all right. And then so now he and what year was this? Like what year was this? You do you know the year that he got into it? Like I eighty. It was in the early eighties. I, I saw the I saw the documentary just now, right? And and you know, watching it and and I like it. And then you guys I guess you guys put a camera in jail because you guys got uh <laughs> uh Jimmy Henchman, yes? Yeah. Now Jimmy Henchman, your father, he knew your father well. Yeah, correct. Uh, what was their relationship? Well Jimmy Henchman and my pops actually met they met in um they met in Rikers Island. Okay. You know, through through a family um named the DeVos, which was legendary in Flatbush. And um they were wild and how they got that connection was through my mother. So Jimmy's from Flatbush and my mother's from Flatbush. Jimmy and my mother's real tight. So um when he he, he bumped into my pops on Rikers Island and um, you know, the Devo you know, you know, a couple of the DeVos 
told them like, yo, look, this is this dementia or whatever the case is, and gave them the whole this this spill. They kind of just, you know, I guess linked in there, and and built their own little relationship. Yeah, Tiki Devoe. Yeah, Tiki Devoe. Yeah, yeah, Tiki Devoe. So now, Jimmy Henchman. I guess you guys. I don't know how you got. Was, you, was it a camera you had, or I, we can't expose it? Um, but <laughs> how do you feel about when you hear these uh, stories about him? You know, uh, they say that he's telling and snitching, or he was snitching. How do you feel about that when you hear stuff like that? Well, when I hear stories like that, man, I mean, I don't, I don't know of that. You know what I'm saying? I don't know that. Um, if it's something I know of, you know what I'm saying? I don't condone it. You know what I'm saying? It's no compromise. You know, I don't stand for any type of compromise. So, I don't know of that. You know That's what right. I'm saying? whether it's true or not. Um, but I also tell you, you know, it was part of my pop's history regardless. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, you got people that might have chose a certain path. You know what I'm saying? But we can't let that deflect, you know, that that day and time and that, that history. You know what I'm saying? You know, um, so... I don't, I don't, I don't know that. You know what I'm saying? Respect. I don't know that. Yeah, same here. I knew Jimmy for a long time, and he always been a stand up dude. What I do know is that, what I do know is, and what I could speak on is, 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 me and him had a conversation, and I spoke on that, and I do know he's the only one locked up, out of all of them cats. You know what I'm saying? He was told on from what I, what which is, which is anybody can look it up. It's 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 on record. He's the only one locked up. So I don't know, you know, what happened back in the days. I wasn't there. I don't. I don't know. I I don't see. I I haven't seen black and white. You know what I'm saying. Nowadays on the internet, you can fix whatever type of paperwork true, on. Man. You know what I'm saying. So I don't know that. You know what I'm saying. If I do know that, then you know, like I said, it's no compromise with that. You know what mm. I'm saying. But but um, I know he's the only one locked up right now. I know you know all the cats that was on his case. A home. Okay. So I don't know who told. You know what I'm saying? Respect. Yeah. Your father had a fight with the real 50 Cent, right? You heard about that. And it was, I think there was an escape ring or something like that. Yeah, yeah, right? there was an Empire, Empire skating Empire. ring. Empire. Yeah, there was an Empire skating ring. And that was something that we also, that came out that we had to clear up because in the original 50 Cent documentary, it was just one sided where it was like, yo, 50 Cent cut. Cut dementia on his face, but they didn't tell a story. They didn't. They didn't tell that there was an argument. They didn't tell that you know Pop Dukes actually. You know what I'm saying? Held it. Held it down and and, and did whatever he had to do. And sometimes you know sometimes somebody might get the one up on you or half of, you know however. Um, but I just wanted to tell that story as well, just to get the full light of it. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, Pop Dukes did get cut in his uh in his face, little little two two inch three inch cut. And so he didn't know at first, right? He got cut. Nah, he, he didn't, didn't know. know. He didn't know. Yeah, he didn't know. You know what why, I'm saying? Why are you being modest? Like, cause, like it's it's you know the fire is about to like you can be modest all you want, and I and I like you, but the more <laughs> modest you be, the more upset I'm getting. Being honest, like being cool and stuff. Your father, they said in the documentary, your father beat him up in a skating ring. Bust his yeah. ass. Yeah, thank you. There you go. go. You know what I'm saying? He whooped him. And I respect the yeah. modesty. Okay, I salute. But your father beat him up. That's what they said. And he was on the floor and he whooped him. And then I guess he got up and he cut your pops. Yes? I ain't being modest, man. I'm just, oh, you know, I, 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 I ain't being modest. <laughs> All right, let me, let me I'm, speak I ain't being modest. That. I'm just Hello. I'm just giving it. I wasn't there. You know what Ooh. I'm saying? So I'm giving it how... It was it was it was it was spoke on. You know what I'm saying? Like, yo, yeah, so yeah. I let them tell it. I can't I like can't tell pop, I can't t I can't say pop dude but whipped you, his <laughs> ass. I wasn't there, but his peoples that was there just said it in the documentary. He his oh, ass. Mm -hmm. he definitely whipped his ass. <laughs> definitely whipped his ass. Fifty Cent definitely cut him. Fifty Cent was causing a lot of problems in Brooklyn. He had he had guys under pressure, but it was guys that wasn't afraid of him. That did a lot of shit to him. My cousin shot him broad daylight in the mall. Broad daylight. I heard about that. And he, he, he told me for my cousin to watch out for him. He was gonna cut me. He had me set up to get robbed. Got my jewelry back in fifteen minutes. Mm. Right. 
He's a low mother. I'm gonna tell you why. He would play your friend and then set you the f up the next minute. But how he died, he got set up by one of by family. Yeah. Yeah. So you know why? You know why? Well, I, because well, 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 let's be careful. I don't know why. You, you, can, <laughs> you, can, you can inform me why, but he got set up by family. He got set up by his people. Yeah, set because him up. then they was going to do something to their family. Yes, I heard. Yeah, they yeah. had somebody had, yeah, you know. That's why. See but, how calm it is? Yeah, but let me ask you a question. What was the argument between Demencio and 50 Cent? Do you know the argument? What was it about? Nah, oh, I don't know that part. But you, do you, were you there that day? Or nah, you I wasn't heard, there. But you heard that he beat him up? Yeah. Same and, night. And, the, and the crazy thing is, the crazy thing is, doing this documentary, I like the people that was there. They didn't even know what the argument was about. Yeah, exactly. no, they didn't know. Like I don't nah, know he what he had a he had a way about him where he'll try to intimidate you. And see, he probably did that to Demencia. Demencia wasn't having it. Everybody wasn't having his. Shit. Most of were scared of him. You see what I'm saying? What was they scared of him for? Because they knew he was trifling. He would either rob you, cut you. He was going to cut me. My friend that was with him saved me that day. What happened He that was day? pulling out razors. <laughs> mm, no, no, he had beef <laughs> with my cousin, right? Beef with my cousin. He saw me first. So he said, I'm going to get him first. But my man was with him. He said, yo, Frank ain't got nothing to do with that. So he backed off, but he was spitting razors out, putting his gloves on, I guess so he don't get no blood on him or whatever. He was really going to cut me up, though. And I was scared. <laughs> Keeping it a hundred. Wait, you from Brooklyn? Yeah. Albany <laughs> Projects. <laughs> but he had me shook. <laughs> he had everybody shook. Where you think Frank he from? Uh, Where like he from? Yeah, say it. He like he, 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 he from. Too to he, be like, he, he like he from. He like he from all of Oh nah, nah, nah. I ain't from all So, so, so. Okay, so but you were scared that day. I, I, I ain't gonna lie. Scared. Keep it from one hundred. He had everybody scared. Hmm. You know what I'm saying? So when I saw my cousin, when I left the mall, I said, "Yo, man, listen. Be strapped up when you see that dude, cause that dude was gonna cut me up." And my cousin was strapped up when he saw him and clapped him. He started doing that shit. I'm going to carve your face and all that. My cousin looked around. Bow! Broad daylight. His name went... Oh, I ain't going to say yeah, it. Yeah, do it. Yeah, it's okay, bro. He <laughs> 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 reminded me, he me uh, real quick of, of Bria Pops. Isn't Bria Pops name... Oh, and guess man. what? My daughter' name is Bria. Kaya's oh. sister? Yeah, yes. that's the same Bria. <laughs> that's Frank. That's my that's him. I knew it. <laughs> <laughs> I used to, I used to live at Dawn Crib, man. What? Used to came up with that. Wow. That's crazy. <laughs> he had the cars, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. yo, I'm thinking like this. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah, thinking. Yeah, I remember yeah, him yeah. coming to the door. I remember when I was staying with them. Wow. He came to the door. And I used to always laugh and stuff because like Bria didn't want to go downstairs one time. And she, said, <laughs> she said no. And I used to always crack the joke. Oh, and he's talking. Wow. And I'm like. Cause he lost yeah, weight. Yeah, yeah, I lost a lot of weight. Yeah. But Kaya's sister, Bria? Kaya's sister, yeah, Bria? Yeah, it's my so, stepdaughter. Family now. Kaya. Yeah. Hold up. You're not Loretta's son. No, oh, I'm not Loretta's okay, son. Okay, I was staying when, when so, so pardon me. Nah, you when, 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 they, when they were staying on, on Mars, then I was there. No, right, Mars, right, right, right. I was right. there and stuff like that. And one time, it was always a joke, I always cracked me, Kaya, Dawn, and Bria. We always crack a joke because one time <laughs> you was trying to get her to come downstairs and she was like, no, it was bad, funny. I always crack the jokes. But I remember seeing you all the time. I don't know, you said some, some type of auto sh I don't know. You was that yeah, nigga. Yeah, 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 yeah. Small world. That's Look at crazy. that. Look at that. Look at that. You knew me world. when I was young, man. Yeah, yeah, I remember. Now I see in the face. You knew me when I was younger. Yeah, yeah, I was with Kaya yeah. last night, so shout out to Kaya. I was yeah. Son, Kaya yo, he knew me. Yeah. Yo, I'm mad height because he knew me when I was younger. Wow. He came to the door so like it's at, at the yeah, time I kissed That's crazy. Kaya baby. Yeah, 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 yeah that's Kaya, wild. That's wild. That's crazy. See that? See that, Frank? That's my cousin. See, see, see. See, you gotta watch what you say. <laughs> 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 
I didn't know. No, that's a fact though. Kai, yeah. Kai my first cousin. Yeah. Oh, what? Yeah. yeah. So yeah. you related to her father's side? To me, my uncle. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah, yeah. That's crazy. You raised her father, though, right? Yeah. Yeah, I raised her, though. <laughs> right. I raised her from three years old. You still talking? You still oh, the man. same? I should have knew it was I'm you. I'm about to face on Kyrie when we finish the interview. I should have <laughs> knew it was him, bro. <laughs> I remember him, man. That's crazy. That's yo, crazy. I swear, yo, yo, I remember this guy, man. That's he, why. He was, he was so why. smooth and stuff yeah. like that. He came. He come downstairs, man. I remember it. Clip. And right, I'm saying in my head, I'm like, yo. I say, yo. Hey. <laughs> Yo, everybody know everybody in here. Look, I, I, you See, know, yo, I know I him already. Be like him one day. My man, <laughs> him, my, my man here, he he he, he, he want to be on the camera now, so I ain't gonna shout him out. But this this is my man. He, he look up the, up the block for me. Yeah, his pops are legendary too. Yeah, very yeah. legendary. Very, very, oh, very legendary with the, with the phone. Yeah, but we ain't on. Yeah, I know him. Pops. Okay, yeah. So yeah right, as, soon, as, soon, as soon as he came out, I know you. Okay. Yeah, yeah I know him. And then yeah. my man over here too. You know what I'm saying? And he he, he knew Michelle one time. It's like it's crazy. Everybody, yeah, I small. know him. I knew him. You see him with holding the phone. I knew him when he was younger as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, when he came here, I said, Yo, I know you. I whispered to him, I know you. Yeah, yeah I know when he was younger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I know, then, I know, you I know, know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. Record label and then him. Yeah. We, we spoke before about the documentary. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We spoke, yeah. We met, we met, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. We met, yeah. We met, yeah. We met, bro. We met, yeah. Yeah, yo, so everything, everything, everything full circle, bro. I don't like that. Yo, yo, but the question <laughs> is, question is, what you was doing up in the crib, man? What you was. No, I had got kicked out my crib. I had got kicked out my house at the time. Kaya. Kaya was doing music with me. Okay, copy. So okay. Kaya was doing music with me at the time, and Dawn, her mother, yeah. allowed me to stay there. You no. know what I mean? Okay. Dawn, shout out Crazy. to them. Okay. My family. Okay. Kaya, okay. Kaya like, I was staying in the living okay. room and all that stuff. Like That, that was my family. Cool. That was really cool. <laughs> so, 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 so sneaky. <laughs> nah, I, <laughs> yeah, that's what he was trying to do. He was like, yo, I used to be a yeah. friend. He used to be on the team with Pops. I'm like, hold on, I want to know the relationship. I want to nah, know. Oh, you, you want to try to do me with me? No, I want to know the backstory. I want to know the backstory. Frank with the Frank, though. Like, come on, Frank was smooth. Yeah, Frank, yeah, I just yeah, see Frank. Bad. I was a kid. I was a, I was a, a, a teenager, like a yeah. teenager, almost so adult, like 19. Yeah, yeah. Kaya did. Kaya was doing music with me, and then I had something, some issues. And they let me stay there. I, cool. said, I, I lived no. with Kai for about six, six, seven months. Nice. I remember Frank no, coming Kai in. Guys, that's crazy. Yeah. That's crazy. I that's remember good. him coming in, but he was different. He was bigger than that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he had some yeah, cars. Yeah, he was, was, was doing some slick Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was smaller yeah, than that. Yeah, I was smaller. And he was always smooth <laughs> with that smooth voice. Yeah. yeah I we told you it was natural. <laughs> yeah. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, that's right. No, that's everybody right. asks me that. They go, I'll be on the phone with them. They go, why are you trying to be sexy? I say, yo, that's just my voice. <laughs> <laughs> it's the truth, though. Yo, real quick, how you, how you met? No, no, no. Why you asking my mother? That's right. That's, that's right. how you met Dawn, no, right? <laughs> right, right. Oh, get, man. Get to the I can tell that. you now. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Kai gonna be tight. Yeah, Kai gonna be tight. Yeah, Kai gonna be tight. Nah, she won't be tight. She won't. We'll talk about it after. Yeah, I'm, I'm let, definitely. Let, I'm so, definitely so, face time after. Now, also in the documentary, um, your pops, you know, he was moving and shaking. He ain't taking. They say he was fly too. They say he was fly. He, you know, he got, um. I think it's his ballets, right? Yeah, ballets, you know. And he and he was uh he was a fly dude, smooth. Um now he's in the street, pop down he's in the street, he's making money, and then he goes down to DC. Mm -hmm. Right? But before he goes down to DC because we heard that out of town you can make more money out of town. Correct. Right? You can take something small out here and make it explode out of there. Mm -hmm. Um what what do you think made him go out of town, make that move? Because like at the time, was him and your mom broken up, or he was just in the streets? Like, do you know like that that story? Because he, you know, he he had another child. Yeah, you correct. See, brother, correct, we, correct. We, we ain't gonna hide nothing. Yeah. Um, what do you think happened there, and what made him go out there, DC? Well, him and my mother were were definitely broken up. I mean, you know, one that you know, Pop Deuce, you know, he was a, he was he, you know he was a female magnet. And mom, mom, Duke, she wasn't putting up with it, you know. And then him knowing that he had to provide for his family, and his friends were going out out of town to D.C. D.C. being, you know, a, a place where you can you can you can expand on your money. So um, I think that's what brought him out there. That you know, cats like Lou and other cats were going down there and coming back like, yo, look, we can make X, Y, and Z down in D.C. And it's crazy. And I think once he got a taste of it, going down there the first time and making money, and then you know, meeting females or whatever the case was, 
I think that's what that's what drew him more to 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 the DC life because he had a whole life that we didn't even know about in in DC. You know what I'm saying? I didn't meet my my little brother until the funeral. You know what I'm saying? My little brother being like three or four months. You know, we met him at the funeral. We didn't even know that you know he existed. You know. Before I get to the to the to the tough part, I, I would ask you, what's one of the most memories that stick out about your father? One of the stories that people don't know that stuck out about, that stick out about your dad. Um, one of the stories that that um that stick out it's it's so many. Um, just just I can't say one, but I can just say just him him taking care of people and 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 really helping helping out families. That stood out to me the most. You know what I'm saying? Because that's how I am. So just hearing that that's how my father was. You know what I'm saying? Not the type to make money and 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 you with no integrity or anything like that just him 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 giving back and, and taking care of people and help helping uplift you know people without even putting his you know his family in the middle of that or just just keeping that separate but but just uplifting you know what i'm saying which which is important to me today you know what i'm saying mm-hmm. you know? take us back real quick like when did you realize who your dad was like when, when you were younger like when did you realize who Demencio was you know what i'm saying for real I would say when, when 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 Mike pulled up, Mike Tyson pulled up to the crib. We on the block, we on Albany, and and the whole block is outside in the summertime. We talking, nineteen eighty nine. You know what I'm saying? I'm like seven years old, six years old, whatever I was at the time. And Mike pulled up in a full length mink and 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 came to the door and came upstairs. I mean, you know what I'm saying? And got Pop Dukes and um, you know, was waiting for him and that stood out to me. That 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 the whole block was going crazy. This is at the time when Mike is at the peak of his career and how many people actually get out in the middle of Bed Star and now you know what I'm saying and, and come upstairs and, and wait for his man. You know what I'm saying? You got people that might wait nowadays, cats are sitting in the car, you'll come outside or other cats are meet their mans at the studio or meet them at the game or whatever the case is, but to actually come and to heighten your career to the middle of the hood and come get your man, you know what I'm saying? That that stood out to me to like you know, maybe Pop Dukes is, you know what I'm saying, is is on another level or, you know, just maybe he is really loved, you know what I'm saying? What was their relationship? Yeah. Their relationship was tight, man. They used to hang out, you know what I'm saying? They would hang out a lot. Um, you know, um, you know, Mike looked out, he like an uncle to me, you know what I'm saying? And um they they just they they were getting tighter and tighter, you know what I'm saying? And then I think, you know, towards Towards that, you know, towards the the peak of Mike's career, that's when my pops had uh, had passed away. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Um, but they were real cool. You know. What was the most shocking thing you learned about your pops doing this documentary? Like, what what was the story that you heard while you were filming the documentary that made you like, oh, I didn't know that. That was that was crazy. I mean, besides like like the shootouts and shit like that. I mean, I think it was just how he passed away. You know what I'm saying? That. Mm-hmm. That was the most shocking thing to me, to be honest. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that was a super blow. The atmosphere at the time was like, yo, I didn't believe this shit when I first heard it. We ain't gonna go into that yet. We gonna, you know what I'm saying? We ain't gonna go. We ain't gonna go there yet. You know what I'm saying? What do you mean go there yet? Mean- in terms of you know the atmosphere and the temperature, you know. Well, I understand. On the streets, and when he when he passed away. Why do you think people loved him so much? I think they love him because he was just so so much. He was just he was so 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 loyal. You know what I'm saying? So stand up. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So to get that, you know what I'm saying? Whether it was back then or even now, you value them type of people. So when you get a stand up dude, you know what I'm saying? And 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 somebody that's real, I think that's honorable. You know what I'm saying? That's loved. You know what I'm saying? People respect yeah. that. You know what I'm saying? People when you know when when most you like yo, this dude is. It ain't about money. He ain't. He ain't. You know whether he had money or not. You know this is who he is. You know what I'm saying? Right. I think that's why he was. He was so loved. You yeah, know what I'm people saying? People gravitated to him. Like I don't think he let it get to his head. Right. I don't think he. You know what I'm saying? I think he was. You know. I think he just was. Was 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 a man of of, of principles. You know what I'm saying? We saw a documentary before the before the you know the show started and. I don't, I don't get any kind of negative vibe from from his story, from his friends, from his people. You know what I'm saying? So like, what were what were some rumors you might have heard about your pops that were out there that made a may have a uh, gave him a negative uh, negative name or you know negative. Good question. Like yeah, that. I mean, rumors was rumors, 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 and 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 things that gave him a negative light 
was just him him being a drug dealer. You know what I'm saying? Him 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 putting crack in his community. Mm-hmm. People look at that like, well, what kind of dude is he? Like, you know, he he ruined families. You know what I'm saying? But what they don't, which which they're right, but what they don't understand is that the crack ever was something that 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 came and rocked everybody's community. You right. know what I'm saying? Negative negatively and positively. It wasn't something that you know pops was just doing and just trying to. You know what I'm saying? It was something that that just hit it 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 hit quick and it was money and i think people just b- b- were a product of, uh, of their environments and just 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 did that you know what i'm saying but i think pop dukes had a conscience and 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 was seeing his way out of that you know what i'm saying that that lifestyle through through the music and through the entertainers that he that he uh associated himself with jam master j and the, and the, and, the, and the dana danes and the and the and the up and coming djs that's 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 uh, popping right now to this day, and DJ that's why Scratch, they pay homage. Right. DJ Scratch, right. DJ right. Twin, Clark you know, Kent. who's the Wu Tang Clark Kent. You know what I'm saying? Like, so I think it was just something that hit the community, and they ain't know what to do with it at the time, and they just did with you know what was there, and then you know what I'm saying. So we can't really, we can't. I don't, I can't judge pops on that. You know what I'm saying? Because I know a different side, and that's not what this documentary is even about. It's not about glorifying him being a drug dealer or him being a shooter or him being this, that, and the third. It's not. It has nothing to do with that. You know what I'm saying? All right. <sighs> you said earlier <laughs> that a lot of people get one side of the story. Correct. Right. You bleeped out Alpo's name on the documentary. I went to the stairs, and I went to listen to, uh, and be honest, I went to go listen to what he said about Dementio. It's a four-minute clip I found on YouTube. And when he said, as far as what happened between your father and him shaking your father's hand, and that happened, when you, f- now, when you found that out, and now knowing that this man is home, um, first of all, did you know as a kid that, because I guess this interview came out what and, and when he did the interview in the, with with the magazine. He was already locked up when he did the interview. Yeah. So, but it was he's already out. in witness it was, protection. It was, it, yeah, he was in witness protection, but it wasn't out. Was the news that we did you know it came from that direction or like you thought it came from somewhere else? But I can really ask you because at the time you was eight. Yeah. That's- yeah, but I but I was eight and and Frank could Frank could touch on that. I was eight. But I do remember that, you know what I'm saying? Because mm-hmm. I was tapped into to my family, you know what I'm saying? Me being his son, you know what I'm saying? And, and as far as we know, the only son, you know what I'm saying? I remember Claire's day. I remember being in the house. I remember when it happened. I remember my grandmother being direct with me and, and, and let me know what was going on, not keeping me away from it. Respect, so I man. did know I did know what happened. I know where it came from, you know what I'm saying? From young, I was taught this is where it came from, you know what I'm saying? But what I'm saying is that, though, but... I- when when you did the documentary just now, when we watched the documentary, and even when Steel was talking on the documentary, he said that I guess your grandmother it was your grandmother that my told grandmother him that she stated that this certain individual Alpo gave flowers and tried to give yeah, money. Yeah, because that's what he did. He sent flowers to my grand when it first happened. You know, us being in the house, he sent the bouquet of flowers. You know, he sent his wife. He sent his wife. Uh, which was which was a good friend of my father's, good friend of my 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 mother's. You know what I'm saying? And 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 um to the house to 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 pretty much cover it up. You know what I'm saying? Like he had nothing to do with it. You know what I'm saying? But the grandma know automatically it came from the direction. She didn't know right away. But okay. then once Lou called back, once Lou, cause Lou was there. Once Lou, you know, cause initially Lou didn't, you know, Lou 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 was there, and then he was he ran. You know what I'm saying? He ran when. It happened and that's why they think he has something to do with it you know what i'm saying that's why some people feel in their heart he has something to do with it some people feel like he don't but when he when he did call back he he gave word to who it was and where it came from but how would he know because he was right there with my father he yeah. brought my father to the park kennedy park in dc understood but what i'm saying is that so the audio the, that i heard of how he described it you think that he's sort of lying because he said that he shook his hand and then somebody came and did that. So how would Lou know if he's shaking his hand, if they communicate, how would Lou know it come from that came from that direction? You get what I'm saying? No, I think I think because, you know, it start coming out as to what the issue was. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, I mean you shake his hand and then somebody yeah, don't somebody take a rocket science, Yeah, it don't take yeah, that was that was you know I mean you shake saying? his hand and then somebody right. shoot him while you shaking his hand. I mean like that's 
You know what I'm saying? That that's that's you know you put that together easy. So I think Lou put that together real fast, and then that's you know and basically then, and, the handshake was to try to like the diffuse whatever yeah, they had yeah, it was, going it was, on. It was, it was cal- because and the handshake basically came from a place where. You know, from 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 what I gathered from young, from a kid, where it was supposed to be resolved, and that's why you hear Kev on there saying the beef was squashed because, you know, they had you know words, and then it was supposed to be reconciled once they was in New York. It was reconciled. As my father would have never went in that park and shook his hand because nah. if anybody know, and Frank Nitty's his right, you know, right hand man, his his, weeks, his his man, two anybody weeks know before pops. Before that happened, Demencio kept telling me, "Don't trust them uptown." So I said, stay your ass from uptown. Let, let's be honest here. What do you think, what, in the documentary, because where did they beef stem from then? They, be, I, they beef they beef stem from, I mean, without the, you know, they beef stem from over, you? over, 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 over a woman, over a lady. You know what I'm saying? A lady being someone that was, was homeboy's wife. You know what I'm saying? And happened to be a good friend of my pops, you know what I'm saying? So it stemmed, it stemmed from that, you know, them having some words or whatever altercation was, and, you know, she brought it back to, to, to her husband, and, and he didn't take that the right way. I don't I don't think it was worth a life, you know what I'm saying? I think it was, you know, something something that, that just a misunderstanding, you know what exactly. I'm saying? But when you're dealing with pride and egos, you know what I'm saying, you know, and jealousy, that's the type of shit that come with it. But that was your father's friend. That's what I'm saying. And my like, mother's like, friend. And, and my family's friend. friend. Yes. Yeah, so, but is she is this woman alive? Or she, she's alive. She she in hiding. Yeah, she's alive. She's in hiding? She in hiding. You don't hear from her. They still you know, they, they they that was his wife. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. She around. She just you know, she 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 in hiding. Do you think that and I'm gonna ask you honestly, straight up, do you think that she meant for that to happen to your father? She didn't. She didn't, uh, and no, she at no means she she you know she didn't. She didn't know it would escalate to that. She didn't level. You know what I'm saying? Like I've got you know growing up, I've gotten calls, yo, ba 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 ba, you know, but you know. So from watching the documentary real quick, and I'm a father and this lady get into an argument or whatever misunderstanding. The homeboy gets on the phone with your father. Your father. T- he don't take that, you know, yeah. kindly. You know yeah, what I'm saying? He says a whole bunch of stuff about these different derogatory words, and they yeah, he got an ego. That's his wife. Yeah. You know, he don't want to look soft. You Understood. know, he looks a certain way in the streets. So how? And at the time, so how would people think who squashed it initially? Homeboys, they squashed it. From what I gather, they they. I, mean, I guess they must have met or. I heard you know, they had a conversation, and they wasn't gonna let it go no further. Yeah, and when my pop seen him in D.C., you know what I'm saying? He, 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 he let it go further. My pops would have never shook his. Anybody that know the my pops. The one thing I know about Demencio, he ain't leaving nowhere without his gun. He always had it on him. Mm. So, and, and then when y'all younger, you don't know. Everybody was thinking, or well, a lot of people was thinking that, you know, Lou set him up. And then now, you know, even though Lou put it into perspective, and now we know, and then you hear the guy do the interview. You hear he do, does the interview, right? As a grown man now, like, how does that make you feel, knowing that he's home and your father is gone? Do you have any feeling towards it? Does it make you angry, you know, seeing all this stuff? And how did that interview make you feel? It's a two-part question. How do you feel that he's home and then... But first, how did that interview make you feel when you heard how he described what happened? When I heard the interview, man, it just, you know, I laughed at it, you know what I'm saying? Because immediately I recognized the coward, you know what I'm saying? Because anybody that would, you know, move in such a caliber where they would, you know, sweep certain things under the rug or not really just be real as to what it really is, I already know what it is, you know what Mm -hmm. I'm saying? So right there, it lets me know your character. So... It, it, that that you know that's 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 what it is. As far as him being home, the second part to your question and walking around, you know, it's a beautiful thing. You know what I'm saying? It's a beautiful thing. You know why? Because, you know, karma is real. You know what I'm saying? And certain people gotta live with certain things. So, 
my, I, you know, how I live my life, I live my life righteous, brother. So at the end of the day, not trying to sound all like spiritual or nothing like that, but I just live righteous, man. I, f I feel good in my skin. I'm comfortable. I'm gonna look over my shoulder because I live righteous and I'm, I'm born with integrity. You know what I'm saying? I'm born, I'm born under a certain cloth, and that's how I move. So, you know, anybody of that caliber that's home after doing what they did and putting their people away and and just greasing people, you know, you gotta live constantly looking over your shoulder. You gotta live with, you know what I'm saying, with certain things. So that's on you. I'm not gonna go out. I'm living, you know, I'm comfortable. I'm not going out my way. I've never seen him a day in my life. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not going out my way. You know what I'm saying? Looking for somebody because I see people, you know, I get comments on my Instagram. Yo, dude that blew your pops head off is is walking around and this, that, and that, which I ignore because Sammy the Bull is accountable for 40, 50 murders, whatever it is. You know what I'm saying? And He's still moving around. I mean, these guys is in a they in a different they in a different world. You know what I'm saying? I'm 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 living in real time, and 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 um, I'm good. I've never crossed his paths. You know what I'm saying? What I got going on is good. I, I I'm I, you know the documentary's here. Pop's legacy is continuing. You know what I'm saying? That hurts more than me just you know what I'm saying. Going out here and entertaining any sort of you know what I'm saying. Coward. Uh, this is gonna sound crazy, and please don't take it anyway, because I f with you. Um, if he wanted to speak to you, would you ever speak to him like like apology or whatever or just no like you know? Because some people grow. Not saying him. I'm just saying like I watch documentaries, I watch shows, or I even hear stories where. Uh, the family's, the victim's family mm -hmm. speaks to the person that did it. Would you ever, if he said, yo, you know, I changed or this is what happened, would you ever have a conversation? Or you would never even, as long as he stay out your way, you would never, like, what if he saw you? Because obviously he's going to see this because I, sp I spoke to him on the phone before okay? about an interview. And so he watches it. So what if he sees it and he said, yo, he want to reach out to you. Would you ever speak to him or is You'll never speak. I got nothing to say to you. I'll never speak to him. Got you. Okay. Never. Respect. If we were going to speak, whether you grew or not, it would have been years ago. Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm saying? Some people are Some people are remorseful, you know what I'm saying, for what they've done in their past. And some people is arrogant, you know what I'm saying? And, and some people is just have no remorse and no integrity. You know, because if I, me, you know, me or just even a dude like my pops or just anybody I associate with cause trauma in other people and broke apart families the way they did, it should be remorse. I wouldn't be out here describing how I blew somebody head off or doing it. You know what I'm saying? I, it would just be a certain aura about me. So the fact that, you know what I'm saying, he can speak about his victims like that. Me and homie could never have a conversation, ever. And the reason why I asked you is because you said the whole thing that you, you you use certain lingo as far as being in tune with one's spiritual. You know, you, you said I'm not, but you said that you seem like you're on a, another level mentally. Righteous. Yeah. Righteous. righteous. Yeah. I move righteous, yeah. Yeah, so, you know, a lot of people, and that's what, that was a question that, you know, that I, you know, that, that came across my mind because some people... You're never gonna forget. You're never gonna forget, but some people forgive. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. I'm not saying you at all. Please no, don't I take it that you. way. No, no, I'm no, not. No disrespect to you and your family mm -hmm. to say that. What I'm saying is that you know, if he ever was to to reach out, like his 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 son is out here. You know, I've interviewed his son. Do you even him even that situation where people say it's not his son, but he told me that I don't I don't know. Would you ever speak to his son? Or I never speak to anything that have to do with that. You wouldn't even speak to his son. I either. It's nothing to speak about. It's nothing to speak about. My pops is gone. Respect. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's nothing to speak about. Understood. You know what I'm saying? I do what I do, which is, you know what I'm saying, live a certain lifestyle and, and move in the direction I'm moving in, which is, you know, give this message and hopefully we can, you know what I'm saying, we can we can shed light on, on some of these situations, but it's nothing to speak on, man. We ain't, ain't nothing to speak on, man. That's that over there, you know what I'm saying, and this is this over here. You know what I'm saying? Period. It's nothing well, to speak about. don't even have nothing to do with it. Like, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I don't got nothing to do with it. Frank, how do you feel 
real quick. Man, I'm, I'm I mean, you. that was my man. Like anybody on my side or my family or my friends, I ain't got no rhythm for them. Straight up, I don't. I mean, we was in um, Virginia Beach. We played ball against this guy. We bet money on the games. We all was having fun. Then for you to turn around and y'all got a beef over something that's super minor and it end up like this, come on, that's crazy. I think, pardon me one second, I think another thing to just to go back a little, I think like when you said like how I feel about the situation in the interview, the four-minute clip, I think that's what was bothersome as well. You know what I'm saying? Is the fact that it was brushed off like he didn't, like, oh, Domencio just was somebody who thought he was bigger than he was. Not, oh, I knew Domencio. Yeah, I seen dude, dudes from Brooklyn putting, you know, representing, or yeah, we done crossed paths several times on several occasions. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't, it was just a brush off, like, under the rug. You know what I'm saying? Like, when it really wasn't that, it was more to it. You know what I'm saying? Like, they had plenty of, you know what I'm saying? You know, so I think that that's another thing that was bothersome. You gotta remember, dementia was tight with Rich Porter, and my father was tight with yeah, Rich Porter. Yeah, like my, that. that's from, where the Harlem, that, that's that uptown Brooklyn. Yeah, like, actually, you know so Black Just and my pop, Black Just being from Queens, he introduced my pops nah, to. Not really from Queens. I'm sorry, from but Black Just, Black Just was from Harlem originally. So, so he 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 him and Rich and them was tight. So he moved, he happened to, he had lived in Queens or right, whatever the case was, Queens. you know what I'm saying? But he introduced my pops to Rich Porter. So my pops and Rich had a, had a relationship, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, even when and when I found out shooting the documentaries, when Rich died, my pops sent a bunch of flowers up there. He was hurt by that, you know, because that was his man, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, it wasn't, it wasn't, like, I, then again, like I said, it wasn't just, uh, oh, he just was somebody who, you know what I'm saying? It was more to that, you know what I'm saying? My pops was putting on for Brooklyn. And we and, and everybody you can speak to or anybody that he was putting on for Brooklyn, you know what I'm saying? In a, in a, in a, in a, in a, in, a, in a good way, you know what I'm saying? So the lack of remorse is is a big a, problem I have. Big problem. Big Respect. problem I have. Besides the fact that my father's not here, the lack of remorse is another problem. You know what I'm saying? And it can't be reconciled. It's too late to be ever reconciled. You know what I'm saying? So it's just best that you know what I'm saying. It's just best that everything is is how it is. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I know a lot of people, Kevin Childs, different people, you know, they say um, that platforms give this, you know, give him light, you know, um, that's the word that they use, you're giving him light, and you, and um, even I heard you guys, when you bleeped his name on the documentary, you said that we ain't giving him no light, right, and how I feel, honestly, is that, um, His image or whatever was portrayed was magnified so much that whether we talk about him or not, the way that it's portrayed to the public, he's going to have light, if you understand what I'm saying, regardless if we talk about him or not. So I feel like not, not, what you did, I, I understand, I respect, so it's not a question. But when you said that, that's why I bent my head and I was listening because I, I hear that all the time. And it's like, you know, when you talk about certain situations and individuals and especially how the algorithm works, especially how the internet works, you know, it, it all comes into one pot. You know what I mean? And I use and talk about certain things in order to get my message across. That's my goal, especially as a meteorologist. But um, people say the light, giving them light and, you know, shine a light on them and, and stuff like that. And in the era that we live in with the internet, I think that, um, I think... As far as giving light, I think it's 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 a personal thing. If you understand what I'm saying, like as, mm. as far as like a moral thing, mm. certain individuals, like I don't agree with that. I don't agree with what he did. I don't agree with how he did it. So my morals won't allow me to talk. But my job as a meteorologist, our job as journalists, is to to talk about these things. You understand what I'm saying? Right. Which I completely so, respect. So, so yeah. this is why, you know, plus and, it's public record anyway. Yeah, you yeah. can look it up and yeah, see it's on the books. And it's like. Why, he no, copped at, out to the murder, so, like... But at the end of the day, though, built a rapport, you know, we sat down and spoke, and, you know what I mean, that's why I wanted to be mindful of how I said it or what I said, and I, I could say it publicly, because I never want to... Situations like this very... It's, it's touching. 
Right. You know and I didn't want to touch it in the first place. I'm being honest. They was trying to get me before with streets. I'm like, nah, I don't want to, because I'm not going to, my character and how I am and how I'm portrayed or how I even, how I am, you know, I don't want nobody to be like, yo, he's joking right. I don't want to get into all that. You know what I'm saying? Right. Because I'm going to ask these questions. I'm going I'm to ask questions like that. And I, and, I, and I must salute you because you answered it honestly without feeling the way. Because I have to ask these questions. Yeah. Which you know is, yeah, which, which and, I. And it's respect from my side. You know, you're from the town, so, you know, salute. But I, I have to ask these questions because it inquire minds wonder. Absolutely. It, it makes and, me wonder. I'm just thinking like, man, how would you feel or. Would you ever speak and, and stuff like that? And you answer me honestly. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't. I mean, I don't mind. You know what I'm saying. I, I I get it. You know. You know what I'm saying. And and at the end of the day, it was what it was. Pops was in that light. It did happen. I mean, you know. So I I'm not. I don't. I don't feel no way. You know, right. for for coming because people want to know. You know what I'm saying. People ask me all the time on the on the on the web. You know about it. So they do want to know. I just didn't want to. You know. Um, I didn't want to give it any 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 type of light or whatever the case is on 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 Pop Deuce because I felt like that it just wasn't it wasn't that type of caliber of dude man like don't you know what I'm saying that type of shit go to go to his head and and like he get he get you know he 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 eats that up you know what I'm saying you can see it you know what I'm saying so I didn't want to give it any any light you know what I'm saying it's not like you said it's no remorse so. We're not going to get at no light. But, of course, it came from that direction. But he didn't even do it. You know what I'm saying? He had it done. So, you know, and the dudes that was responsible are gone. You know what I'm saying? They're long gone. One one being dead the day, the, the, the year, the, the the next year to the day. You know what I'm saying? Both of them both of them were murdered. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, and, and one of my, my, my father's close associates, Sean Branch, you know, he was a, you know, he was a, he was he was questioned for one of the, he was in question for one of the murders. You know what I'm saying? You know so. Mm -hmm. I see that um <clears throat> yeah G you got something my phone G nah dude, I don't. Oh. You got something yeah I, yeah, I got something yeah I, got some, oh, yeah. I see. Uh, first of all, what do you have going on? I saw that you was doing some with P two. You know P two is right? Yeah yeah, yeah 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 yeah. I gave him that name P two. P two yeah, yeah yeah I heard I heard you gave it to him. He yeah, yeah. he told me I had that. To, I had to block him. Yeah I heard 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 I heard. I heard. I heard. I didn't like. I didn't like. I didn't like. Uh, I felt like. I gotta talk about it now. You see, being, you know, I got a lot of love for 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 P two. Um, P two, what up, man? I was there when his son was born. I was in the hospital. Um, I have a lot of love for him. He he, and I don't want to get into too much details, but I put my certain situations on the line for him. You know, I don't know if you know the story, but something transpired in Queens where he need to get into all that, but or what he was accused of or whatever. But I put a lot on the line, and he did an interview with Hassan Campbell, and he said a line about me like, "I need to go back to glorifying rats," and it kind of bothered me coming from him because he he's supposed to know me, you know what I'm saying? And I felt like he was feeding into the whole internet thing, and I felt like he shouldn't have said That's why I had to block him, because I really got a lot of love for him. And before I say something crazy, as his, as his big brother or as his big cousin or as his friend, whatever he considered me as, I, I'd rather see him and talk to him face-to-face -face and express to him. I could talk about it now, you know, express him, because I just felt like I've never... He felt a way about something that we asked Bimmy pertaining to his mother, right? Mm -hmm. I spoke to him like, I get it. I get what he's saying. You know what I mean? It was something that happened with his mother. That's my mother. But, I, you know, I spoke to him. I, I had a conversation with him. And the conversation I had with him, I mean, I still got the conversation. You know, he was just like, his father may feel a way. But he he said, yo, Flip, man, that's kind of funny. I said, yo, you know, Peter, we will never disrespect you or your mother. That wasn't where that was from. You know, it was in the middle of a conversation. And I was explaining to him because I never want my friends to feel like that. A nigga told my mom, my mom I'm going to be mad. I, he, I asked him on the show, can, I'm going to ask you something about your mother, do you want to talk about it? He said no, I don't want to talk about it. So I guess by him saying no, he felt that I, that means no for talk about it with anybody. I didn't take it like that. I just said I'm going to respect him and not talk about it with him. Mm -hmm. But the story was isn't picked. The story yeah, was that documented. Was the story. You know what I'm saying? So that's what it was. And then I spoke to him after, like, yo, P2, da 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 you know what I mean? And he's like, yo, we spoke about it. I think he called G. 
we got past. He said, oh, my father may want to take it down. He told me how to respond. I'm not going to get me to snitching. He told me how to respond. If that happens, we got past it. Now, a whole couple of months, that nearly a year later, I feel like, just feel disrespected from by him. Mm. I feel like, you know, uh, to, to get on, and shout out to Hassan Campbell, shout out to him to talk about me like that, like, in that, you know, I put him, I put him on the platform. And he, you know, I put him on the platform and, and people who I, I knew longer than him, I went against them because I saw something in him. Mm. Felt that he fell victim to comments or fell victim to words in, 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 in the street. Mm. Meaning like, yo, you guys, yeah. there's no malice. I would never disrespect Miss Tootie. Okay. Never disrespect his mother. I never talk about and, and that's what. Mm-hmm. So I, I, I'm talking about yeah. it now with you. Yeah. But I'll never do no shit. That's sucker shit. Yeah. I would never do that. I, I never want that to come off as that. That was never my intentions. Yeah. You know what I mean? And he was saying that his father made me take the video down. He was hyping it. His father never made me take anything down. I told his father no. I told the lady no. G Money was on the phone. I'm not taking nothing down. I would not take anything down. No disrespect to his father. Mm-hmm. And the only reason why is because Nitty, <laughs> Nitty went to go speak to Bimmy and Bimmy called me to take it down. And I was on. Bimmy asked me four times to take it down, and I didn't take it down, and he asked me the fourth time, and he said, yo, Nitty said it, and then Webb Web called me mm-hmm. from dr- jail. So like, yo, Flip, what are you doing? All right, cool, I'm, I'm gonna take it down. There's only two people that made me take something down. It's the person that did it, or my cousin Webb. Nobody else can make me take anything down. So when he said that, and I had a conversation with a beautiful lady, and, uh, Cause allow me to vent real quick because it's just been on my mind. Yeah, it's cool. And and, and and I had a conversation with a beautiful lady, and I um said, nah, I'm not taking it down. But I understood the way Nitty put it, to you know, and the way they had the conversation. You know, Prem is currently, you know, trying to come home, and we never want to add my platform. I don't want to add something to put somebody else yeah, down. You know, what I got you. Yeah, I don't want to. We don't want to add it. That was never the intentions of the conversation. So I got it, but the, I just felt like. You know, to make it like that, to add on, to add, to add ketchup to the spaghetti sauce is, is messed up. Yeah. Especially as a friend. You can't add, it's already tomato in there. I got you. You don't add the extra acid and stuff like that. You don't add that and you added something. It was just, it was just too much for me. So that's why I had to, I had to really like distance myself from him. You know, what I'm not, I would never disrespect him. Got love for him, I'll say it here, but I don't think that was right. You know, Bimmy, not Bimmy, Bimmy asked me to ask us to take it down and then, in turn, he got a so B. Yo, you take it down, flip. He got me so B. And by interviewing so B, look what happened with the platform. You know, you had Killer Cab and all that. So, yeah. it, you know, it worked out. It worked out. But I yeah. was just, I, and I can say it now. I was, I was, I was bothered by it. You as you, mean? as you should. I mean, especially if you had that relationship with, you know, with, with P. And um, my thing with P too is, you know, that's that's little bro. You know, pops, pops, newest pops, and Frankie was real cool with with Preem too. So we we you know we had a we had a meeting you know what I'm saying um, and trying to put together you know some type of reality show just to just to give light on 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 our lives you know after our parents you know what I'm saying growing up in that growing yeah. up yeah growing growing yeah. up growing up in that life you know what I'm saying because it is a life because you know oftentimes you know I people you know people run down on me yo what up man you trying to be you know you trying to be like your pops or yo you know like they they. They, you know, they kind of like throw that battery in your back as to, you know, like try to fill your your your, your parents' shoes, right. you know, and especially if your parents was in the streets or, or or had a stature with them or had some type of, you know, when 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 the reality is is my pops didn't want me to be like that, you know what I'm saying? He want me to be better and supersede his his legacy, which I'm trying to fulfill right now. Okay. So I think. The, if we can, you know, as far as meeting with P two and 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 Black Just Son and and Faye back, with, you know, which is Ferris Son, um, Oklahoma, Ferris, yeah, shout out to Ferris, shout out to Don Diva, shout out to Kev Childs, yeah, stand up dude, we yeah, so yes. so so just l- just like meeting, yeah, just so so just like meeting with meeting with them is more so like just to just give light as to what it's like coming up under. You know what I'm saying? Under that umbrella. You know what I'm saying? Because it's a lot of pressure. You know what I'm saying? Especially when you in, you know, and you you in the industry, you in Brooklyn, or you in Philly, or you in DC, and your pops was a legend. Mm-hmm. People people look at you and, and think that, you know what I'm saying? They they kind of hold you to a certain caliber. You know what I'm it. saying? Yeah, they yeah, they waiting for it. And 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 not only that, they 
you know, I think that it's interesting to see how we how we came up and how we, you know what I'm saying? Because it was different and it, and it is different. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, you know, if, if like I said in the interview before, if they can have growing up Gotti and if, if they can have the cartel kids and all of that, why can't we have something, you know, in the in the, in the urban like why can't we do you know you, you know uh film our lives coming up as kids and this that and the third you know me i, I me me more so i would probably be on the back end of size because i'm a little older than than than, than p2 and, and and um so I, I i you know i'm i'm a little bit more past that but i think still you know i, I, I think it's still you know i wouldn't i wouldn't i wouldn't i wouldn't stray away from it i'm not right. saying you know what i'm saying i you know yeah. i'm not saying i wouldn't do it i'm not you know still, i'm not saying i wouldn't but that's what the meeting was about you know what i'm saying that's that's right. what us getting together was about you know what i'm saying because he p2 you know he has a, he has a story as well because that's a lot of pressure on him too you know your pops is preem you know they had a preem team so you know what i'm saying people looking at you like you know and then you go into catholic school because of course, naturally, our parents want us in a different light. So now you are going to be in Catholic school. I don't know what what legend would you know with money or this, that, and the third will put his son in a inner city school. I mean, the goal is to to get out into this, that, and the yeah, third. So so that's pressure on him. Like you know what I'm saying. So I get it. So you know that's that's what that that was about. That meeting was about, and um and hopefully in the near future, you know, maybe it, it will come to light. I can see it happening. But which I which I had, you know what I'm saying? Like he when he spoke to me about Flip, he's never to be honest with you, he has never said nothing bad about you. He told me the situation, you know what I'm saying? He just he you know, he he had his side, his feelings towards it, but he never said like he did say you was there when his child was born. He never said like, "Yo, he's a, you know, he never spoke nothing bad about you." He did just say like, "Yo, man, I asked him not to speak about it, my mom's and he this did. that and the third, and he did it." Nah. And but he didn't he didn't, you know, he didn't go in on that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I, so. took, I took it when he actually, he did, he did. I took it as, though, you know, because I, I went back and I watched the interview. I took it as with him. He didn't ask me, like, I don't want you, you know. And that's just, I guess, taking advantage of media. Yeah. I guess you could say it like that. I'm me thinking, and I'm thinking, that's probably me being inconsiderate then. You know, I could take a blame for that. But I feel like a conversation should happen. Like, yo, bro, man, like, I, I you know. Cause when I spoke to him, I spoke to him the day the video came out. I spoke to him. He sent me voice notes and sent me, "Yo, you funny, man." And I we spoke. I said, "Yo, I would never. Come on, man. I'll never do no shit like that." Like you know, I spoke to him, and that was the time to say, "Yo, bro, I, I you know, I." When I said that, because I would apologize then and there, because I'm yeah. not my ego yeah. with my friends. I don't have an ego with my friends, yeah. and yeah. I already know how I am. So yeah. I don't, that, that's my man, all right, my fault, you know what yeah, I mean? Uh, yeah. I apologize, I was yeah. show because if that really bothered you, I guess, you know, being, I, I'm older than him, I should have realized that by him saying he didn't want to talk about it, even if it's public record or not, he was in any way that he doesn't want me to talk about it at all. I didn't take it that way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm yeah. saying? So that's, that's, that, that's you know. It's, yeah, I get it. I mean, yeah. we human, you yeah. know what I'm saying? So, we human. You know, but like you said, though, like you said, which was important, I mean, me and you, we friends. We got a relationship where we could have spoke about it. Yeah, know, that's the thing. Like man, I, I, you know I think what that, I think that uh, because they had a whole thing, you know, on this platform. When I had, you know, King Ern up here. Shout out to King Ern as a friend of mine, and different people up here, you know, like glorifying rats. And you know, when King Ern them say, well, he didn't say it to me, but his man was saying it. He would say, I ain't really think nothing of it. But when my man said, I don't care what anybody say. I don't know. My man said, like you know me, like. No one would play around like that with me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That you was doing, never the intention. Doing, you, yeah, I mean, listen. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but you do. Shout out to him. Yeah, yeah. Shout out to, to, shout shout to him. Shout out to P2. Yo, shout out. <laughs> they don't want to be on camera. Yeah, yeah, they don't want to be on camera. Shout out to Black Just Son, man. Yeah, that's my yeah, brother, yeah, man. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Be cool, like, yeah, 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 yeah. Black Just Son, that's 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 that's, that's, that's my little brother. <laughs> cool, look, look, yeah, 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 yeah. look, 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 look come together, you know what I'm saying, and and, 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 and and stick together, and, you know, because we face the same challenges, you know what I'm saying, so to yeah. ride, to be, you know what I'm saying, to be, to be of, the, uh, of um, you know, just, just running, running together and, and being cool and, and keeping that relationship going, man, I think that, you know, that does, you know, that, that sheds light on, on our parents, man, you know what I'm saying, so no, that's, it's, that's it's, cool it's that we can have a relationship. Like, you know, for, for, for me, personally, you know, I didn't, uh, my pops didn't, you know, I mean, he got stories too, but, you know, he uh, 
he, he, he calmed himself down when he had me and, and everything was good. And he kind of, you know what I'm saying? But he was DJing back in the days. So he passed that down to me. But Dope. growing up in, you know, in Queens and Southside, 40, Baisley, all that, you know, I was around all that. And he would tell me stories about all these people, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Cream and everybody, you know what I'm saying? So I've heard the stories. So now growing up and then meeting Preem's son and, you know what I mean? Me and P2 have a relationship and then, you know what I mean? Just and, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Certain yeah. people in the hood. Now yeah. we, we, all, we all tight too, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's yeah. like, it's good to hear the stories from yeah. different angles. You know yeah. what I'm and then to see, they, you know what I'm saying? To see their kids, you know what I'm saying, doing right, doing positive. That's right. that's dope. Look at you. You following in your pop's footsteps. You doing, you know, you doing your pops. I'm sure he's proud of you. You uh, know what I'm saying? Yeah. You could have chose another route. You know <laughs> what I'm saying? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? That's 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 dope. I know Pop Dukes, you know. I, I used to always grow up thinking like, you know, Pop Dukes died at twenty seven. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I used to always think, am I gonna live to see twenty you know what I'm saying? So mm. to super supersede his 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 lifespan, that that meant a lot to me. You know what I'm saying? I know other kids out there just like that. Look at Meek Mills. He lost his pops, you know. I'm saying and I'm sure that he always speak about that you know what I'm saying like right. I, I'm sure that affects him you know what I'm saying so that's 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 good that's question I had too like what you know you, you, you had a story you grew up you know like what what made you not follow your your, your pop's footsteps and go that route and kind of like you know what I'm saying go 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 in that life just I think I think I had the right people around me you know what I'm saying I had good guidance you know what I'm saying I had people that was like yo look that told me what my pops really wanted what you see in the documentary how he kept his family separate from that you know what I'm saying so I had a good foundation you know which is a good mom yeah too. and a good moms that that uh -huh. kind of was like yeah yeah <laughs> yo, yo that's like my that's sister like, man uh, yeah, that's yeah. my sister <laughs> Nah, that's my like sister. Like <laughs> Don't nah, talk she about you. You, you, you was wild out here trying to take pictures. He heard all the stories. Remember, he lived there for six months. She he heard all the stories. She did a oh good God. job with him, man. For yeah, real. Yeah. Say what you were saying on the other shit earlier. Chill yeah. out. I mean, yo, oh, she was bad. <laughs> I'm like, I'm not kidding about that, man. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong with you, bro? <laughs> yo, she was that chick back then. Tell you. All right, all right, Frank. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 But yeah, you know, like yeah, so I think I think, you know, G Money, I think I think to answer that question, I think it was the foundation. And I just I just I just didn't wanna I didn't I got kids, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And and I knew how I was you know, I, I knew my thoughts. I knew what it was like growing up without 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 my dad and, right. and him dying, losing him the way I lost him, you know what I'm saying? So do I want to grow up and follow that? Do I want my my daughters, you know what I'm saying, mm -hmm. to to feel like that and be doing be doing a documentary about me, you know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. So that's that's what kind of helped me, you know what I'm saying? Keep keep focus. What are some similar uh, similarities you see from your pops and yourself? Integrity, man. Morals, principles. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? That's that's something that's in the blood that you know we stand on. You know what I'm saying? And and and, and that's that's what it is. You know what I'm saying? We we. We solid, you know what I'm saying, and 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 that's just it. Not to not to just you know not to glor you know glorify or try to pump it up, but mm -hmm. just you know what I'm saying. We solid, integrity, and also the heart. You know what I'm saying. I got a big heart. You know I want to give back. I want to do. You know what I'm saying. I want to I want to help the community. You know what I'm saying. Like pops did. You know what I'm saying. In in when he when he got the money. Right. You know what I'm saying. He definitely was giving back to his community and helping families. I, I, you know, that's in the heart, you know what I'm saying? So that's a similarity. Um, definitely want to give back to the kids. Um, part of the proceeds for this documentary, you know what I mean? I want to I wanna give to, like, you know, children that lost their parents to, to gun violence, you know what I'm saying? Like, we just lost a one-year-old in Brooklyn, shot in the stomach, you know. Um, I want I want to give back, definitely, to a foundation, you know, uh, of some sort, you know what I mean? Families, you know, that, that were affected through gun violence, you know what I'm saying? Because mm -hmm. how my pops died was sem senseless, and and right. it's and it's it's a lot of people, good people that we we lose through senseless violence, you know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. That's dope. Well, you know, you about to wrap it up, man. Yeah. yeah. Before we before we wrap it up, like I feel like we didn't we didn't really touch on who you who you are, you know what I'm saying, and what you're doing. You know, mm -hmm. we didn't we didn't really touch on that too much besides the documentary, but before that, and you know, like. Who who is who is little little Demencio? You know what I'm saying, yeah, young, young yeah. Demencio or yeah. Demencio Junior, however you want. <laughs> yeah, so little Demencio is an entrepreneur, man. Um, this is my feature film, my first 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 debut feature film, and um, I'm picking up on another documentary in September. I'm going down to New Orleans and I'm shooting another um, documentary, touching on some things that uh, 
that need to be spoke on and addressed out there. Um, but that's that's who I am, man. You know, um, just keep an eye out for my future projects. I got a lot of a lot of things in store um, as far as as far as the film world is concerned. So um, you know, that's that's who I am, man. I'm a family man. You know, stay out the way, and um, I definitely want to be you know um, somebody that 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 the younger generations can can um, can look up to. You know what I'm saying for what I'm doing and 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 where I came from. You know what I'm saying. So that's who that's who Demisio is. And uh, lastly, for me, you know, um, real quick, just kind of, uh, what's the message you want to give out to the people for this documentary that's coming out? What's what's the main message of the documentary that you want the people to receive when they watch the documentary? So one of the main men- messages that I want people to receive, you know, um, is for when we go out here and we do things and we and we we moving and whatever we're doing, whatever path we choose. <clears throat> we got to think about how our families are affected. You know what I'm saying? We got to think not for ourselves, but we got to think for our families. If you don't have kids, you need to think about how your mother's going to be affected. You know what I'm saying? And how your aunt or whoever cared for you, whoever's in your, you know what I'm saying? Right, right. How they're going to be affected. And for the, and for the, and for the, you know, for the people without families, we need to, you know, for the people that be like, yo, f- it, for the young dudes that feel like, yo, I don't got no family, you know, and, 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 and might commit a crime. Think about how you affecting that family. You know what I'm saying? Think about the trauma you're causing, man. And a lot of this, shit, if we take that two seconds to think about it, you probably won't even do what you what you about to do or or, or, or did. You know what I'm saying? Right. So that's my main message: to look at how this situation affected everybody around my pops. Cause it ain't just about my pops, but look at me. Look at my little brother. Look how my grandmother passed away sudden. You know, a heart attack, and a lot of people say it was pain because her her first, you know, her first son. Was was killed tragically. So let's think about what we're doing to the people around us, not ourselves. One so thing about Demencia mother, Claudia Clark. Yeah, they was inseparable. They was like their relationship was more brother and sister than mother and son. Mm. Mm. That's how deep that was. Like yeah. she she just rolled with them. What can we expect from you coming up, man? What's up, Frank Nitty? You got, you got, you got, you got, you got I'm Frank Nitty. Got, Frank Nitty, I run the city. Oh, 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 o
that's the actual day that my pops was killed. I'm, I'm, you know, um, it's, it's some symbolism there. You know, I'm, sh you know, I'm dropping it on the day he, 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 he uh, passed on. So it'll be, it'll be on all, you know, as far as anyone who wants to get it, they can go on Vimeo and and and, and check that out. Um, but yeah, that's the we on Facebook, we on Twitter, um, everything Dimensio Montana, man. Rest in peace, Dimensio. Yes, salute. Oh, I definitely appreciate nice. you coming. Salute. Up here. Thank you for having me. No problem, Frank. You got any, you got social media? Yeah, I got social. Yeah. Media. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? What is it? Frank Nitty NYC. Ooh. Yo, man, shout out to Steel. Yo. Steel. Shout out to. No, you gonna be cool, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Shout out to Chris. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shout out to my man. Yeah, yeah I don't wanna be on camera. Why you wanna be on camera? Yeah, he ain't doing behind the scenes either. He was like, nah, 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 nah. Well, you yeah. chilling. Yeah. Yeah. But he's still outside, yeah. like he caused the trouble. You still caused the trouble? Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Shout out, who's all the homie that's here, man? I ain't say his name. That's Chris. Chris. That's Chris. That's Chris. That's Chris. Chris. Yeah, that's Chris. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah, my yeah. nephew. That's Chris. Okay. That's family. That's two. <laughs> we got my man that's not a Catholic. You know, put the two and two together. Don't let that go again, man. But you want to shout us out, man? Shout to Michelle. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Shout to Michelle one time behind Body the scenes. Two time. Shout Woo -woo. out to Michelle we one here. time. Yeah, Bassy, what up? Man, that's what's uh, up. Love. You know. Woo -woo. <laughs> Yo, chill. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, chill out. I know those like those slick calls. Get out of here, man. That's how you try to get this dog. Get out of here. Yo, I'd rather get at John than y'all get at me. <laughs> Yo, isn't it crazy how I discovered that, bro? Yeah, that's crazy. He was he was, he was bigger wild. than that. I remember him. Mars Mars is right, yeah. right, 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 right yeah. there. I know, yeah. I know what time it is. <laughs> yeah, man. Yo, yeah. man, make sure you follow the pages, man. At Flip the Script Pod, at Queens Flip with a Z, at DJ G Money One Five Six, uh, at Picky Eater Show. We back this week, man. You know what I'm saying? Shout to Space Go. Shout to uh, Michelle one time. Shout to Bassy Group. I'm excited about it. Um, and very nervous at the same time because you know whenever Space Ghost call me with some news. About Picky Eater, I'm very nervous about the food he's gonna pick. <laughs> and um, we actually, I'm, I'm let you. We actually doing a picnic um, this week. Yeah, so we, we, we doing we doing a Picky Eater picnic. Wow. Wow. So I, I have no idea what he's bringing to eat, but he 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 said he got some ideas and he's excited. So that means he's gonna bring some crazy. Wow. Yeah, some people said they're coming. So salute, man. Yeah, it's Queen Flip, man. URL TV TV. Shout out to G Money Picky Eater season three starting. Man, listen, man. I like this episode. Y'all know how I am. Y'all know how I'm doing it. Y'all know how it's going to come out, man. You know what I'm saying? But shout out to my man Steel. Let me put respect on his name. Nice. Um, shout out to my man Mayno. Shout out to Dementio. Shout out to my man Frank Nitty. Man. Frank Nitty, you're in the city. Black Josh. <laughs> shout out to everybody in the f***ing so building. Chris is over there. You know, shout out to P2 as well, man. I wish nothing but the best. P2, you know, what up? What up? <laughs> P2, wish, what up? I wish nothing but the best for him, man. You know. I got to give him a call, see yeah, how he yeah, doing, yeah, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm in my feelings, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. he got a, you know, yeah, he, you know, he got a, he got a, he got a, he got a. You have a rapport with somebody is different. Like hearing it from him was was different from hearing. It tagged me on the internet all the day, but from him it was it was weird. You know what I mean? But he has his reasons, and you know we'll follow up on the conversation when the time is right. You know what I mean? You gotta, I got to strip my ego down and my pride, and be able to, you know, I've been doing a lot of reflecting. And just want to have a conversation and stuff like that without trying to question or challenge him as a man at the end of the day because he's a man at the end of the day and I'm a man I, you know just understand you know and that's between him and I but look Japan. lock your doors oh what <laughs> Japan <laughs> lock your doors close your windows close your blinds open your blinds if you see a nigga like Demencio on your lawn put it away he don't mean no harm and if you see Frank Nitty on your lawn don't be afraid to use a firearm because he's going to try to f*** your wife <laughs> 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 I'm from Queens <laughs>